Ready for them now. Ready for them now. All right. So uh, we are in revision land. This is the third revision session. Are you ready to go? Um, how many of you all watching these short videos from the homeschool have one after each other and you're not giving yourself a little break? You're just burning it through one time, doing all the assignments. You're, you're rushing through everything. Anybody doing that? That's not a bad thing, but I mean... You might have to watch it over a few times. You might have to watch it over a few times while you wait for the remaining batches to come out. Okay, so 417 minus 392. I hope you are getting smarter in this thing called mathematics. Here we are doing a nice, beautiful subtraction. Mm -hmm. We love to see it. When you subtract, you subtract in place value. So 7 minus 2 is 5. 1 minus 9 is a problem but a problem that we can solve. When we encounter something like this, we are asked to take from the following place value, which is a multiple of 10 higher. Um, so we are in the tens, we're gonna borrow this, say, but it's actually take one from the hundred. So it's gonna be like three, bring across the one there. And this is 100. Or in the case, if this were one, this would be like 110. So we can, we can visualize this as 11 minus 9, which you know. You know what to do. I'm just, just giving you the mathematical terms here, right? So 11 minus 9 is 2, and then 3, take away 3, is 0. So I can stop at 25. The answer is just 25. Uh, right, 3.49 to the nearest tenth. Oh, boy. Decimal approximations. 3.49. Do you know how to do these? This is the ones column right next to it here. What do we have? The tens column, but now there's nothing there. So let's go to this one. This is tenths column with the th, and this is the hundredths column. So we want to approximate to this guy, the tenths. So I'm looking here, and then I'll watch the following place value, which is the hundredths. And I'm seeing that it's greater than five. So you know what to do. You know what to do. Give the 40 little boost. You can only boost them by one, right? So this becomes three. 0.5. 9? No, no, no. All the numbers after the value that we want change to 0. So this is 3.50. Or 3.5 could actually work if you leave all the 0. Here we have a pizza which was cut into 12 equal sizes as shown below and we want to shade 1 third. So we really asked 1 third of 12 and 3 into 12, 4. We are really being asked to shade 4 slices. 1, 2, 3, there we go. Any four slices could work. Of course, you may shade slices next to each other, but some adventurous people have been known to shade these slices like one, two, three, four. I don't know why you would do such a ridiculous thing, but if you're adventurous and nice, you, yeah. Pretend this is the best shading you've ever seen in your life. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> best shading ever. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. We have plenty of questions to do. Just, just about five more. Right, one of the following symbols. Hey, look at the inequality symbols, boy. We're friends, boy. Welcome back to class by inequality symbols. So we have the greater than, the equal to, and the less than symbol in the box. We want to put one of them. Okay, okay, okay. So it's three quarter greater than seven twelve. Ooh, this question is asking me to do a lot of things, you know. It's asking me to compare fractions with different denominators. I need to get equivalent fractions. And to get equivalent fractions, I need to use... LCM. So um, the LCM of 4 and 12 is actually 12. So the 7 12 is going to remain, but 4 can go into 12. You all remember the flow? You remember the flow? 4 goes into 12 three times. 3 4 is 12. And you multiply that by the numerator. So 3 by 3 is 9. So who is the bigger one now? It's the 3 quarter. 3 quarter is actually bigger than 7 12. So it's this guy we're going to use. We're going to say 3 quarter is larger than 7 12. We know we want the open side to face 3 quarter. Let's keep going. A piece of ribbon is 7 tenths meters long. A piece measuring 2 fifths meters is cut off. What is the length in meters of the remaining piece? So we, once again, we've been asked to work in fractions. This is our fractions, people. Huh, boy? So we have 7 tenths and we... we Want to find out what happens when we subtract two-fifths. Once again, different denominators. So different denominators, equivalent fractions. To do that technique, LCM. What does LCM stand for? Now we want to get the LCM of 10 and 5. 10 and 5, it's not 15, it's not 20. 10 could go into 20, 5 could go into 20, but 
10, 10, 10 is good, 10 could work. Uh, we usually check to see if one of the numbers itself is an LCM. Yeah, so what does LCM stand for? Does it stand for let's curry mango? <laughs> 10 into 10 is 1. 1 by 7 is 7. 5 could go into 10. 2 by 2 is 4. So 7 minus 4 is good. 7 minus 4 is 3 over 10. 3 tenths of a meter is the answer. Just now, what is the length in meters of the remaining piece? Yes. And there was the unit already placed for us. Two more. Number six. What fraction of the total number of words did he spell correctly? Oh, there's a little piece to read here. Question six and seven refer to the following information. Instructions, boy. In a spelling test, Peter was given 40 words to spell. He spelled 32 words correctly. What fraction? Ah, he spelled 32 out of 40 correctly then. Can, can four go into both of... Wait, 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 wait. Eight could go into both of these numbers. Eight could go into 32 four times and eight could go into 45 times. I was able to reduce it quick, quick, quick there, boy. Four fifths is the way to go. Mm -hmm. We usually express fractions in their simplest form, meaning we reduce them. Peter must spell at least 90% of the words correctly to qualify for a consolation prize. How many words should he have spelled correctly? He should have spelled 90% which is 90 over 100, of, which is multiply all of the 40 words, 90% of 40, cross, 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 9 fours are 36 words. So he, he spelled 32 correctly. He, he needed four more to go. Four more to go, and he would have gotten his consolation prize. Hard luck there by Pete's boy. But we could do the last question on them. So LCM obviously stands for Lewis Common Multiple, right? Not let's curry mango. The first four shapes in a Peter, uh, sorry, Peter is sneaking into my question. They by Peter. Boy. The first four shapes in a pattern are shown below. Each shape is made from squares of the same size. We love it. So, oh, we have like a, a sequence of um, patterns taking place here. How many squares will form the sixth shape? Well, it's square numbers. This is square numbers 1, 4, 9, 16. They can't trick we. Them can't trick we. They square numbers. So six, oh look, they have the numbers here. One, four, nine, sixteen. So who's next? It's going to be twenty-five because we know we square numbers long time. We know square numbers up to how much? Twelve, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, forty something. Love and blessings. See you in the next class.